Hello everyone, my name is Kate Stone and today I'm going to talk about Stripe Rust. Stripe Rust, also commonly known as Yellow Rust, is caused by the pathogen Puccina stryformis forma specialis tritici. Symptoms on wheat appear as yellow, blister-like lesions arranged in stripes. Infections most commonly appear on the leaves, but in severe cases can affect the florets of the head. Signs of stripe rust on wheat leaves include uridiospores forming a yellow-orange powder on lesions or black telia containing teliospores. Symptoms on barberry appear as irregular yellow-orange spots on the upper surfaces of leaves. Signs of stripe rust on barberry also occur on the leaves, as pycnidium containing pycnidiospores or acial cup clusters containing aceospores. Stripe rust is a heterocious fungus, which means it has two hosts. Typically, one of these hosts is a grass species and the other a species of barberry. Stripe rust infects spring wheat and winter wheat, Latin name Triticum avastium. However, Infections are generally more severe on winter wheat than spring wheat. The pathogen can also infect barley, Latin name Horderum vulgare. Many perennial grasses can act as a reservoir for the disease, such as Kentucky bluegrass, Latin name Poa pretensis. The alternate host of stripe rust are several species of barberry, including common and Japanese barberry, Latin name Berberis chinensis, and vulgaris. There are no documented cases of barberry host resistance to stripe rust. However, through plant breeding techniques, there are wheat varieties that contain the resistance gene YR18 or YR36 that allow them to be moderately to highly resistant. Some examples of these cultivars are AC Conqueror, Big R, and Sad Ash. The stripe rust pathogen is biotrophic meaning that it needs a living host to survive. It is also a polycyclic disease and has more than one repeating spore cycle in a season. Stripe rust is macrocyclic and has all five spore types, including basidiospores, pycneospores, aceospores, uridiospores, and teliospores. Environmental conditions that favor stripe rust are temperatures of 10 to 15 degrees Celsius with increased leaf wetness. The pathogen prefers cool temperatures in early spring for infecting barberry and cool periods in the summer for infecting wheat. A high relative humidity of 65 to 75 percent and rainfall amounts of 80 to 150 millimeters are also optimum for stripe rust infections. There are several control methods available for the control of stripe rust, including chemical, genetic, cultural, and biological control methods. Stripe rust is primarily controlled by foliar fungicide applications to infected winter wheat crops in the early spring. Cultural practices include the avoidance of planting spring wheat adjacent to winter wheat fields. This helps to break the disease cycle and reduce disease development. This can also be achieved by delaying the seeding of winter wheat until spring wheat is mature. Another cultural control method is the removal and eradication of the alternate host, barberry. Crop rotations and tillage are also beneficial. Genetic resistance to stripe rust is achieved by incorporating the previously mentioned resistance genes YR18 and YR36. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it.